Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare P2P cycle in Oracle Fusion. Okay, so this is the second part. So if you had not seen the first part, please go to my playlist and watch the first part. In first part, I had explained that how to create the requisition, how to create the purchase order using the requisition and without requisition also. Okay. So continue to that video. In this video, I'm going to tell you that how to create the receipts and how to create the invoice for that particular receipts. Okay. So this all information we had already seen in our last video. So creating the requisition and creating the purchase order. This two task is done. Now today we will create the receipts and the invoices for the same purchase order we had created last time. So this is my purchase order number. So now I have to create the receipts for this purchase order. For that, I have to go to my Fusion instance first. So I am on the home page of an Oracle Fusion instance. So here we have to search for the supply chain execution. So here is my supply chain execution. Clicking on this. And here is an option of inventory management. So I will click on this inventory management. So then after here is a book icon. I have to click on this book icon then here is the inventory but i want to create the receipts so from this drop down i have to select the receipts so these all fields are related to receipts so what i have to do i have to create the receipts so i want to receive that particular material which is coming from the supplier after creating the purchase orders so here is the option receive expected shipments so i have to click on this receive expected shipment only so here what we have to do we have to give the purchase order number okay so i will just copy the purchase order number from here and i will paste it here and i will click on the search button so as soon as i clicked on the search button it will search for this purchase order and it will show us the purchase order so here is my purchase order with all the details just i am clicking on this purchase order and here is an option receive so i will just click on this button receive so it will redirect us on the new page so here we can give the quantity which we want to receive so you can do one thing you can receive all the quantities or you can receive some of the quantities half quantities also but here i want to receive all the quantities so i am writing two because in the po i had given the quantity as two then here is an received by so here you can give any name of the receiver from this list i am randomly selecting one receiver so that is johnson pat i am selecting so this is my receiver okay and then here is a create receipt button i just have to click on this create receipt button so it will create the receipt so we can check all the details over here and we can click on the submit button as soon as we click on the submit button it will submit one program or we can say that ESS job in background for the approval. So this is my receipt number. I will just copy this receipt number and I will click on OK. So I will note down this receipt number. So now what we have to do, we have to check the status of our purchase order now. So I am having one query for the purchase order. Same query I am copying here and I am just changing this purchase order number with this one okay now we will put this query on the query block and we will check the status so we will edit this query we will paste our query i just click on ok then click on data then click on view then click on table view okay so we found one record so we have to find the status okay so here is a document status so what is the status now close for receiving okay so this po is close for receiving okay now we will create the invoice for the same receipt okay so what i will do i will go back to my home screen so i am on the home screen so here i have to find the payables for this user i don't have the payable role assign okay so uh, what i will do i will log in with another user so for this user i am having the payables role 
so here is the payable so i will click on payables i have to create the invoice so i will click on this invoice button then it will show the all the invoice related detail over here then here is an one option book icon so i will just click on this book icon and what i have to do i have to create the invoice so i will click on create invoice so here is identifying po so, so i have to give the po number over here so it can take all the information from the po only we don't have to fill it again so the business unit the supplier the supplier site all the information is populated automatically okay now we have to give the invoice number so see here here create invoice so here is a question mark because we had not given any type of an invoice number so i am giving the invoice number is inv underscore 001 so here is an amount we are not going to insert the amount now so here is the invoice type so invoice type is standard you can also find the different types of an invoice types also that is credit memo debit memo all the types okay which you can see in the r12 also so if you want to fill the line information so here select match invoice lines and click on the arrow button okay here so here invoice amount we have to give the invoice amount for time being i am not remembering the invoice amount so i am just writing the 10 over there and i will click on this arrow button so what it will do it will populate all the information from the purchase order this is my line which i had entered into my purchase order so i am just checking this checkbox this is the warning click on ok then what is the amount that is an 100 then click on ok button as soon as you clicked on the ok so it will populate the all the details okay then here is an total amount is 100 so we will change this amount to 100 okay and we will just tab out so here is an validated okay now we have to validate this invoice so click on this invoice action and here is an option of validate it is showing message needs revalidation so why we need the revalidation okay so what is uh, what happened this tax amount 9.50 this was newly added so we have to change our total amount so it is also now 9.50 just tab out check over here it is match so that's why the green tick is there now again go to invoice action and click on validate okay you can see now the status is validated check the other details also if everything is okay click on save it is saved and click on save and close so the invoice is created so what is the invoice number so we had given the invoice number manually that is inv underscore 001 now what we will do with the same query we will again check the status of the po okay so i am going back to the data model so here is a diagram i am just editing the query just click on ok click on data then click on view then click on table view then check the status of the document so see what is the status of document it is closed why it is closed because the invoicing is done over there so that's why it is in the status that is closed means po is closed so this is for creating the invoices so now we will see the tables affected for receipts so the first table affected that is nothing but the rcv shipment headers this is the same table which is also used in oracle apps the second is rcv shipment lines it is s headers the third one is having some change that is cmr rcv distributions okay so these three tables which are affected 
while creating the receipt so we will check this receipt number in this table okay so we will write the query here only we will write select star from rcv shipment header where receipt num the column name is receipt num and we have to give the receipt number so i will just copy this query i will go to the data model and i will paste the query here and i will click on ok and i will just click on data then click on view then click on the table view so here is our receipt detail okay so this is just for the header the receipt number and everything over there so here is the shipment header id is also so we can confirm it from the shipment header number also so same way you can test the other tables also and for the invoicing we are having the table ap invoice all so i will write the query select star from ap invoice all where invoice number num which is equals to our invoice number we have to pass so our query is select ap invoices here is s so i am just copying the same query i will go to data model i will paste it here and i will just click on ok and here is an data and then click on view then click on the table view the invoice amount is 109.50 including tax so here also 109.5 including the taxes okay the invoice status is also there so the status is approved the invoice is approved so this table is affected while creating the invoice so in this video we had seen how to create the receipts and invoices in p2p cycle